Our top story this morning then, South Korea is holding by-elections for two National Assembly seats today, although it's a mini-election of sorts. It is important to the political parties here as it should give them a read on public sentiment ahead of next year's crunch general elections. Kim Min-ji starts us off. The make or break day is here. Voters in the districts of Chawan, Sangsan, and Tongyang Kusang will be choosing a lawmaker to represent them. Polling stations in the two constituencies will be open between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. on Wednesday. It's only two seats, but the by elections will be a barometer of public sentiment in Gyeongsang Namdo province, a traditional conservative stronghold. For Changwon Sangsan, a recent opinion poll showed Yeo Young Guk, the single candidate representing both the Minor Justice Party and the ruling Democratic Party, in first place, followed by Kang Gi Yun, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party contender, in a six way race. Although the district is in the conservative province, liberals have held a relatively firm grasp. It used to be represented by Noe Chan, a lawmaker with the Progressive Justice Party, who committed suicide last year. As for Tongyang Kusang, it's mainly a battle between Liberty Korea Party contender Chung Jam Sik and Democratic Party candidate Yang Mun Sok, as contender number three trails far behind. The Conservatives have long maintained a strong grip here. As an extra seat for a party can make a difference, candidates and the respective parties have been doing all they can to win over voters, arguing they know regional affairs the best. But there have been some issues that could turn voters away. The Liberty Korea Party was marred in controversy for campaigning at a local football stadium. K-League laws prohibit election candidates and party officials from wearing clothing displaying their number and name within the stadium premises, and the violation meant penalties for the home team. On top of that, its candidate Chung jong sik faces allegations that he gave money to a reporter in return for writing articles that favor him. As for the Democratic Party, a downside could be the presidential office's string of controversial nominations for cabinet posts. The results are expected to take shape late Wednesday evening. The winners will serve for a year, as their terms last only to the April 2020 general elections. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.